Hey, welcome back to my second episode of Rogue Tech Funky Steve's Medinas. So today we are going to outfit our mechs. I kind of went forward in the timeline to we so we got our assassin back. So let's go to our mech base here real quick. We want to pull out that double heatsink kit engine. So let's have a look at the assassin. I'm going to refit this guy. All right, so I want to see how much tonnage we're going to get back. This XL engine might not be worth it in here anymore. We're going to pull this double heatsink kit engine out. And what we're going to do is going to go to equipment. And we're going to drop in our fusion core here. Let's see what we got. We got an extra six tons. Excellent. So I'm going to pull out this light PPC because I'm going to be pulling the large laser off of our um, Jaeger mech. And our heat efficiency is dropped woefully down low here. So we're going to have to avoid... Um, yeah, we're going to have to... Well, we're going to be putting the mask system in which is going to be increasing the sprint distance and the movement. But it's also going to be increasing the weapon heat. So let's have a look here at our weapons. Now we don't have a lot we can load into this guy. we got uh, two pirate LRM-10s. Minus one accuracy, 75% overheat damage. So if we heat somebody up, we can definitely use this. Um, I wonder... That's five tons though. If we put both of these in, we'd be under heat. Although really, really like lacking in a lot of accuracy. Now we got light machine guns as well that we can add. Um, those are very light, they're only 0.5 tons. We got an AC2 which we can add. I'm wondering if we should go for long range builds. Um, if we do that, then we have to pull the claws off this guy. Then maybe we put the claws on something else. I mean, we could throw it on to the blackjack, but that's not really worth it. Uh, if we do go with a melee build on this guy, we can put arc welders in. That's an option. We can get, I don't know if we can get two in one arm, can we? No. Can we get an arc welder in the torso? No. So, I mean, that's increasing it slightly. We can get machine gun in there with tracer ammo, a couple of light machine guns. So our heat efficiency is really bad right now. Heat sinking is 18. All right, we have to get right. We got to buy some heat sinks too. So we are going to need to spend a little bit of cash here, but we're going to have to sell some stuff. So let's go to the store. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell. Now we don't have a lot we can buy here. Here, really nothing in the store that we can buy. Wow, it's pretty dead. Heat sinks. But let's sell. Uh, we're going to sell two of these. Because I no, the minus two accuracy Goss rifles, yeah, no, thank you. So we got a bit of cash to work with now. So we're gonna need to buy. Let's get rid of the rocket launcher. We're not gonna use that. Uh, the jump jets we can get rid of. Uh, I'm not gonna be using those anytime soon. Although I should probably check. Um, yeah, let's sell that. And what else do we have here? That's probably all we're gonna sell for the for the moment. And let's go and buy some heat sinks. Barely anything in the store right now. So we're going to need at least four of these guys. Two, three, four. And then let's buy like another three more. Because i got a feeling we're going to need them. So let's go back here. Look now. Let's refit this guy. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. Because we clicked out of that. So we're going to go with this. Taking that off. We are removing the fusion core. Yeah, we did leave a jump jet in. So let's pull that out. Um, going to equipment, our mask is going back in, fusion core is going back in, and we're going to go to weapon systems, we're going to grab our arc welder and drop that in the arm. And I think maybe we're going to leave the claws on this guy. We can certainly do that. Our heat efficiencies are really woefully low right now. We have to add four heat sinks. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's drop them in the legs right now. Three, and then one in, let's say, I can't put it in the CT, but we can put it, uh, let's put it over here. Okay, it's not too bad right now. Yeah, 29 Alpha Strike, Heat Seeking 30, so that's okay. So what we have to do now, though, is figure out... We need to put a large laser in here, which is going to be 30 tons. Or, sorry, 5 tons. It's going to throw the heat off big time. So let's look at our weapons here. I don't think we have a whole lot. No lasers. We do have an LRM-10. Uh, it's 12 heat. I mean, we can pull out an SRM-2 and put an LRM-10 in. 
and just go with a full missile build. We can put plus one art accuracy ammo in. Um, we've also got the AC2 we could use. We've got two light machine guns we can use, which I think we can put two light machine guns in this arm. And then we can put, uh, let's go to ammo. Uh, we got tracer ammo we can use, so let's use that. Uh, let's move a heat sink up into here. Tracer ammo. I mean, our damage output is really, really low. Heat is having a problem right now, but we're going to fix that here in one second. I'm going to put three more heat sinks in. One, two, three. And then let's max out the rest of the armor here. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do we have enough to max out the rest of it? Not really. I mean, we could, but then we'd be like short a bit. We got one tunnel remaining. Let's buy another heat sink. Yeah, we'll buy one more. Got the cash right now, so we're gonna, so we're gonna do it. All right, so there's our assassin build. 15 days, let's confirm this. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay, so that is our melee close range mech. He's got a couple of uh, machine guns for long range. So let's go and move some stuff here. Let's manage our tasks. So the blackjack we don't really need to worry about right away. We want to move the Jager mech up because we want to get into him next. So let's close this. Go forward. Lounge is almost up and done. Let's throw a party while we're waiting. Wow, we're almost... Well, she didn't get to go to the planet and fight last time, so that's probably why she's that way. All right, lounge is complete. We got plus two morale, plus one tech point, which is going to help out a little bit. Agromex back in like, what, eight days now? Financial report coming up. We're still okay. I've got the financial report. I hope this uh, new engine going in is not going to problems with uh, the cash flow here. Three days, we're both back up and running. Cool, yeah, continue. Good. And let's go to the mech bay. Let's have a look at this Jager mech now. Let's refit this guy. So the first thing we need to do is pull up the fusion core and click confirm. And then we can go back in and refit our Jager mech. All right, so let's have a look now. I'm gonna go to equipment here. And we're going to drop the 260 fusion core back in, and the double heatsink kit. And that is going to make us pretty darn heat efficient here, 7890, pretty good. So I think leaving everything else in here for now is all we're going to do. Uh, we've got a light PPC here, but I mean we could swap that out for the large laser and put a couple more heat sinks in if we wanted to. But I don't think we really need to do that. I think we're going to leave it at this point for now. Um, until we get some more weaponry and stuff, I think this is probably the best way to do it. Now the other thing too is we could put an AC2 in, but with only 25 damage, it's not really worth it for the tonnage right now with this guy. So let's just confirm this build. It's 100,000 in one day. Excellent. So now we didn't need to go make some money. Let's go do that. Alright, let's go raid somebody. I'll see you guys down on the surface. All right, we're now we're on the surface. So what we found out is there's a facility here in the desert that uh, the government uh, officials sort of use as a payroll depot. So we're going to raid this payroll depot and ho hopefully get some sea bills out of it. Holding for the right opportunity. Now I'm sure it's got guards. We're going to have to check those out. Hopefully they don't have reinforcements. Let's see uh, Prodigy's build here, see how much better this is, or not necessarily better, but okay, we still got really good movement here. That's the most important thing. So he's going to move up here. Okay, we got a mech coming up. Something coming up. Okay, this build is still the same. Going to have to get some heat sinks for something for that. Alright, let's move forward. It's going to be nice to be able to run a little bit heat, bit more heat efficient on the uh, Jaeger mech. I want to get a pair of AC-5s or something big like that, or a couple of AC-10s. Let's reserve, see what they do. Confirmed. Something big to put on the arms. I mean, ultra auto cannons would be the best way to go, but uh, we'll have to see. All right, can we keep reserving here? See what we're up against. Looks like it might be a medium mech here. Oh, another vehicle. Probably a medium one. Looks like a light vehicle and two mediums. 
Let's get Prodigy Eyes on here. See what we're up against. I don't want to go too close though. I'm going to move back here. Trebuchet. Short range loadout. Okay, cool. So we can just plank this guy from long range. Yeah, so not a whole lot. Could have been better. Let's move forward. Fire the ACs. Okay, one hit. Alright, Steve. Do we want to rush this guy or not? Let's just move up here. Give him a target to shoot at. I'm going to fire the large laser in the tag. The eh. Didn't expect much there. No Alright, let's see what they do. Okay, don't like that. Yep. No, sir. I don't like it. Waiting for orders. Let's get you down. And maybe into here. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Understood. Get in the mineral field. Kind of stay hidden there a little bit. Let's fire everything on this guy. Makes it harder for us to hit, but also makes it harder for them to hit us. Okay, plink, plink, plink. No tag yet. So two mediums, two lights. Hunter. Comes the LRMs. Not really worried, like I said. I got six chevrons of evasion, plus, plus four for the mineral field, so it's ten, really. So it's going to be hard to hit. Uh, let's move. Actually, I'm going to reserve. I'm in the woods here. I don't want to move out in the open and fire. I'd rather have the trebuchet fire at us if we're in the woods. So if we're going to get a hit, we're going to take less damage. Okay, and we're going to reserve one more time. Oh, no, we don't have to. That's, that's right, this medium vehicle's moving. I want to find out what this guy is, if he's squashable or not. Large laser. Bulldog or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Got to take this trebuchet first, though, I think. I hear ya. So let's get you here. On my way. Certainly a uh, nice little uh, reprieve from having to fight ten guys at once. Was that a head hit? No. Looked like it was. All right, Steve. Let's get a little closer. Let's give him the what for. Gonna leave the flamers off. Fire everything else. Oh yeah. Two gyro crits, pilot hit. Enemy mech. Damage so we can knock him over now. So that's an Irby. Definitely needs to go down. That's the autocannon 20. Oh, he's the AC 10 version. Okay. Not so bad. Still bad, but not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So let's attack. I'm going to melee this guy. Get Just basically, he's going to secure that knockdown. Nice. So there's the knockdown. Plus 10 heat. Now I'm going to plink him with the machine guns and try to hit his head. What do we got over here? Goblin. Okay, so they got reduced armor. So just so you have an idea in comparison between this mission. Oh, I got seven chevrons of evasion now. That's excellent. So the difference between this mission and the last one that we played on episode one. Episode one was a one skull mission and it was an assassinate mission. This is a payroll seizure mission and it's sorry, the last one was a half skull with ten mechs. This is a one this is a full skull mission. <laughs> and we don't have any reinforcements or anything left or yet. We we might get some reinforcements, but I don't know. But uh, that's the difference in Rogue Tech. It's such a major difference from regular Battle Tech. Like at, at half a skull, you'd never face 10 mechs in Battle, in battle Tech. And not only, it was, not only was it 10 mechs, two of them were medium mechs and one was a heavy mech. It was insane. Okay. Let's go, Steve. Move it down. Let's give that Irby something to shoot at. And we're going to target this guy going to aim for the head, we're going to leave the large off, and we're going to fire everything else. Might get lucky and get a head hit here. 
Or SRM, SRM ammo explosion and blow them up, so that's good too. Doesn't really help us salvage wise, but you know, sure. Now I think I can get in close to this guy, take that arm off. Don't think that Irby's got a lot of uh, armor now. Yeah, let's see if we can go take that arm off. We get a good shot on the arm, we can take it off. I think that was a leg hit. Yeah, there's that. Oh, arc welder hit. I think maybe this assassin is kind of made for um, melee attacks. That mask and that fusion core work well together. He's got about the same range as he had before. I think it's slightly lower. But I mean, overall, it's still about the same movement. And I got better use for that double heat sink kit, so... Alright, Possum, let's take out that mech. We've got to get rid of this guy. So let's go with this. Yeah, I'm getting laggy now. This is crazy. Alright, Goblin moving up. Not in stepping distance quite yet. We need to hit that Irby, though. Got to take that leg. So just going to walk it up. Going to fire everything. Oh, we got lots. Of, I forgot we got like... We can go with everything right now. Let's fire it all. all nope. Wow. He still gets to move. Yeah. Figures. That's going to cost me some money. Let's hatch a job, this guy. Come on. Right here. There goes the arm. Okay, cool. And the mech. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay. Let's hope we can squash some of these guys here. Don't know if we're in range or not, but give it a shot. Blackjack's starting to take some uh, damage here. In the last mission, we didn't take much damage. We didn't get any any armor penetrated, so that was good. So let's move in. We're going to squash this guy from the side. 80% chance to hit. Oh, 46. Not quite enough. How much has he got left? I have no idea. Yeah, I see that. Good thing I increased your back armor. You can see daylight through my armor. You can. That was a front hit. So we need to move to a position where we can shoot the front. Wait, which which way is the front? It's so hard to tell in these tanks. Front is this way. So we could just step on the front like this. Let's do that. It's only 33 damage though, so it should be enough. If we hit the front, we can, should be able to squash him. Are you kidding me? Where did that hit? Ugh. Okay, we should be able to finish this up next turn though. A little too close for those missiles. Minor damage, Commander. I see that. That was a side hit. Right side. So Prodigy should be able to finish this up maybe. He's got way more melee damage. I don't think it matters where he hits now. There we go. Excellent. Adding insult to injury. down. And for that, you get to go steal the payroll. I'm going to move you... Um, hmm... This guy's already taking damage, right? Turret in the side. So let's move over to this side of him. Got it. And fire straight in the side. Let's see if the AC's off. And all medium lasers on. Right, Commander. That might be it. Oh, really? Really? I'm calling 
calling cheats there. I'm gonna fire everything. Got the heat sinking. Let's just do it. There we go. Not much salvage out of this mess. Okay, Prodigy. Sprint it up. That should end it right here. So this was a one skull. And the last one was a half skull. I cannot believe the difference and the randomness. Alright, that's it, folks. We are out of here. I'll see you in the salvage screen. Alright, here we are. So, a few mech parts. Uh, I'm going to take two medium lasers. I know it sounds ridiculous. Taking the fusion core. Uh, the only reason why I'm taking the medium lasers is because I definitely need them. Um, I want to replace some stuff with medium lasers. I'm thinking those vehicle, those uh, flamers that I've got, uh, pirate flamers. Um, I can take those off and put the medium lasers on, my main guy. The heat is actually um, the same, but I can do consistent damage output at a longer range with these guys. So I think I'm taking those. Take the fusion core for the cache. Hopefully we get the mech parts. Yep, we got the mech parts. Machine gun, small laser, internal combustion engine we can sell. Good, we got four heat sinks. We need those LRM ammo. Okay, not bad. All right, well, we didn't make as much off that payroll up as I thought. Um, they didn't have a lot of cash in there. I guess the cash had just gone out. So we didn't get too much from that. We're going to have to go and sell some stuff. So let's go to the store real quick. All right. Um, the weird thing is I was wondering why this is not updating. I, and I, I realize now that it's uh, probably because I have to go offline in order to play uh, Rogue Tech. So the store is going to be pretty bare for the next little while. All right, so let's go sell some stuff. Alright, so let's have a look what we can sell. Like PPC, maybe. Um, internal combustion engine can go. We're not going to need that. And I think this big engine can probably go too. We're not going to need something that, that large for quite a while yet. It's 19 tons anyway, so let's sell that. So we should have enough now for the uh, financial report, which is great. So we're going to have to rely on whatever salvage we get off the ground, because we're definitely not going to be getting anything in the store. So, yeah, that's how the things are going to have to run, I think, for the next little while until uh, Rogue Tech catches up with the new uh, Flashpoint outlay. Um, but, yeah, that's the end of this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. If you liked it, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe, and if you haven't checked out my other series, the um, I've got a Battletech Flashpoint series called The 900, and I've also got another Rogue Tech campaign going on called Cold Forged, and that's kind of a more classical approach rather than what I'm doing with this one. So yeah, feel free to drop a like, make a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.